Lesson 226. My home awaits me. I will hasten there. Welcome to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles students. I am Judith and this is the Lucid Mind Center. I'm glad you're here with me to read Lesson 226 together. We're going to shortly contemplate this together and at the end I'm going to guide you to pre-recorded Qigong classes which are specifically suited for this lesson and the special idea what is forgiveness. But first let's read the lesson together and after I will tell you more. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so more Course in Miracles students can find me. Lesson 226. My home awaits me. I will hasten there. If I so choose, I can depart this world entirely. I remember when I was reading that sentence, I was like, what? How? I want to. It is not death which makes this possible, but it is change of mind about the purpose of the world. If I believe it has a value as I see it now, so will it still remain for me. For I have not sought for illusions to replace the truth. And this is an amazing sentence. Because I myself, I am struggling with that all the time. Having myself my own business and being kind of in that rat race is not as bad as it, as it was when I first started with The Course of Miracles. And it is 15 years ago. But still, I am feeling that I, I would really like to spend most of my time just applying all these ideas and just record and talk about it and go out and meet people and talk about it. But what I have come to understand is that any person I meet, no matter if this is a client or if this is a neighbor or this is a, anybody in the village or town or wherever I meet them, each one of those persons is a learning teaching opportunity. And each one of those persons is receiving a message from me and I'm receiving one from them. Even if I'm not talking about the Course of Miracles and most of, that, most of the time I am not talking about it. I'm not talking about anything spiritual, if you will. It is just that my heart goes, opens up and it goes to them. And they, then their heart opens and in that way I improve their day. So the only thing what I need to do, I need to shift the way I'm looking at it. Do I look at this world and this life of mine as a dread? Or do I look at it, whichever, any time I meet somebody, as an opportunity to, to light up the world for me and for the other person? And that is meant by it. Because many people who become spiritual in the first, they throw everything down, they get rid of everything they have, and then afterwards it's very difficult to keep on living this life in this world. And it's not about what you are doing, it's about the way you are looking at it. So let's read this quickly together again. My home awaits me, I will hasten there. If I so choose, I can depart this world entirely. It is not death which makes this possible, but it is the change of mind about the purpose of the world. That means the purpose of every encounter you are having, of everything you do during the day. If I believe it has a value as I see it now, so will it still remain for me? So if I think that there is a value in the world right now, so if it's a value that I have to dread my work, and this is valuable because otherwise I cannot mm, move on, if I believe that this dread is necessary for me to do the work, or if I believe that stress is necessary for me to do whatever I need to do, then the stress will remain. But if I believe I do not need no stress, I do not need to any hatred, I do not need to press nobody down, I can be kind, I can be open, I can be honest, I can be trustworthy, I can trust people. If I move all those virtues back into my focus and get rid of the, the negative aspect of, of those virtues, the negative aspects which are hiding the, the, the virtues, then I change my mind and I have returned home. 
and then things disappear. The st things which normally give you stress, they just disappear by themselves. But if I see no value in the world as I see it, this is also very important. We've been talking about this all through the course. It is not that the world is an illusion and it's not that this, what you see or, or experience through your senses is what you need to get rid of. It's the way you see it. It says it here again. But if I see no value in the world as I behold it, this is the magic word here, as I behold it. It's not the way, it's not the world I see. It's the world as I see it. So there is the change. It's the, the change of mind is the way as I see the world. But if I see no value in the world as I behold it, nothing that I want to keep as mine, if there's absolutely nothing that I want to keep as mine, or search for as a goal, it will depart from me, for I have not thought for illusions to replace the truth. And that is also where, you, where we can say, well, I really don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. As we did two lessons ago, in the prayer, we just said, I do not know where I'm going and I do not know what I'm doing. So please, can you take over? And this is very much about changing your mind, about realizing that you yourself actually do not know. And that the things that you are holding on to, which you give value to and which are stressing you, and I know exactly how it feels because this is um, happening to me all the time, where I feel that other people have got expectations and I have to fulfill those expectations and then this gives me stress. So this is, what, this is one of my things which I need to look at differently. I, do, I need to look at differently about this house of mine if it's giving me stress. I need to look differently at the work situation of mine if that is giving me stress. If it is giving me unpleasant thoughts or is it giving me feelings of sadness and grief. So it's not that I need to give up the work, but I need to change my mind on how I'm looking at it. And when I change my mind on how I look at it, so you forgive the work. If the work is bothering, you forgive the work, forgive everybody in it. Practice forgiveness, practice those, um, those classes which I have recorded especially for you about forgiveness. Practice forgiveness, forgive the world. Do Ho'oponopono. It's very, it can be very powerful. In my website, Lucid Mind Center, I have got a whole mini course about Ho'oponopono. It is a, a way of learning how to forgive fast, overlooking all this dread, this treachery, this uh, kind of way we are looking at life sometimes. So that can be a quick fix. But, and read, like I said, uh, daily read the, the forgiveness bit to understand what is forgiveness actually and how do you achieve this state of mind where you overlook really everything. But if I see no value in the world as I behold it and there is nothing that I want to keep as mine or search for as a goal, it will depart from me. For I have not sought for illusions to replace the truth. And the prayer goes like this. And this is what you're going to need afterwards. You're going to put your book next to you when we start on the Qigong classes. And I'm going to ask you to read the first sentence, the first idea, and the prayer to our Father. And then we're going to sit into meditation or we're going to return back into a meditative state and wait for the answer. Father, my home awaits my glad return. Your arms are open and I hear your voice. What need have I to linger in a place of vain desires and of broken dreams when heaven can so easily be mine? Beautiful. The, our special idea is what is forgiveness? I have recorded two classes for this special idea, what is forgiveness? One is a standing meditation. It's a lot of purifying in it, uh, which I recommend you do at least twice during this 10-day ten, ten period. And then I've got a seated meditation, which lasts about 15 minutes. But there we're also doing a little bit of purification. I recommend you do this daily. 
and where you're just basically getting rid of any kind of blockages which might have accumulated themselves in the body, in the meridians. And then we spend about 10 minutes on, on the meditation, on the idea, on the forgiveness thought. And it can be very, very effective. I think it's also very important that you read the class together with me at least a couple of times. You should read it every day by yourself, but I suggest you can also do it with me now before you go into the Qigong class. So here is the standing Qigong class. Here you have got the seated Qigong class. Here is the what is forgiveness reading. And here you have got the whole list of Qigong classes, which you can find the forgiveness class and all these kind of different classes in it. Enjoy. Love, light and chi to you.